Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Soul Eater episode number 34. Uh, in the previous episode uh, there was a little squabble between um, Maka and Blackstar which uh, resolved itself uh, after like they <coughs> like, understood themselves and uh, the teamwork improved. So like uh, that was needed, that was an episode which was definitely needed if they wanted to like master the combined soul resonance and uh, as like Stein said that uh, if, uh, like at the beginning he was I think kind of like uh, attacking it uh, a little differently as he like wanted each and every like uh, member of the class to make a like combined soul resonance but like definitely that would have been a lot more like stronger than like uh, only like a few members like now that is like the uh, soul steam which is consisted of only like three masters and three uh, f uh, four weapons so like uh, if they were able to like uh, pull off the whole class co uh, combined uh, soul resonance that would have been amazing but that is difficult like you are like they are like uh, hanging out with a particular set of like team members suddenly if you like have to like uh, if someone says to cooperate with the whole class and like understand their soul wavelength uh, that is difficult and so like Stein, uh, Stein took the like uh, more what can I say uh, like the approach would, which would be more successful that is like like breaking them up down into teams so and uh, that is like more uh, successful and that would like everyone would be pulled out uh, would be able to pull that off uh, perfectly so yeah so let's see what happens in this episode what this is about so without further ado let's get started with soul eater episode number 34 <clears throat> okay i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started here's the countdown three two one go Alaska, Lost Island, wow. Okay. Hmm. Wow, that's a huge explosion. Damn. My god, not like <clears throat> not just an explosion, a huge tornado. Okay. Demonic magnetic field. <coughs> oh, enemies also have the same problem. Okay. Twenty minutes. <coughs> okay, so all right, so yep, this is really difficult. Like twenty minutes only. Like you have to like uh, keep the what can I say uh, time limit in your mind like into consideration and at the same time you have to like consider like your enemy would also be coming and be prepared for that damn yeah that is a bit not a bit but quite a bit difficult
Damn, I'm liking uh, the second uh, opening a lot more than the first one. I don't know why. Like, I know the first one is like one of the iconic uh, openings of animes, but must be because like I've heard it so much the first opening that uh, like I now like like this a lot more because obviously like this is something new. Like I've heard the first opening so many times before even like watching the anime itself, but I never heard the second uh, like opening. This is the first time. Wow, they're like new clothes. Okay. I'm guessing like they also like have like the enemy team also have Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, God, this guy is also here. I forgot his name. Uh, I'm not sure if I like. This is Ox, isn't it? Yeah. And I don't know who this girl is. <sighs> okay. Wow. So. Like, this is like, what can I say, they're like, this is like the main fight, they're going to fight. Okay. Hmm. Oh my god, they have like golems and everything. Those are golems, aren't they? Right, Sid is... Ross. Hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, everything's um yep. Wait. There they are. Okay. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh, he got one already. Okay, let's go. Oh, Mifune. Oh my god, yeah. Okay, thinking about it, like, Sid was also, like, the one who stopped Mifune previously. When, like, he was, uh, a comp like, when he was, like, uh, fighting Blackstar. So, let's see. Oh. <laughs> what? Yeah. Who is this? Whoa! Wait! A lot of them! Oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> Good plan, my dude, like this guy! <laughs> oh 
Well, there goes your teammates. So yeah, now it's one versus one. <laughs> oh my god, he's pissed. <laughs> okay, let's see, like... This is a, like... S s yeah, second fight, Justin is going to fight with... Uh, what was his name? Giriko, yeah. They, I'm quite conf like they did not deploy like um, Krona. Like in the previous, like in the first mission, they deployed Krona. So I have a bad feeling, like. Uh, Stein is going inside and he is Hmm I forgot what was his her power like um okay like as i was saying like i have a bad feeling like stein himself is uh like suffering from the whole madness thing and him going inside oh boy Yeah, obviously. I doubt that's going to work the second time, like... Yep! Oh my god, yeah, close combat is bad for Sid. Like, at least against Mifune, like... Okay. Yeah. You have to regain the like distance, otherwise. Oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> what you're lying? <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Huh. Oh, yeah. Oh no. Way out of your league, dudes. 
Ya. Yeah. Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. What what type of Ooh, oke. Okay. <laughs> oh. Uh, oke. Okay. And in one of the previous episode he also like <laughs> call someone My god. Woo. Damn, these weapons are like especially like that. Okay. This guy's pretty powerful like we saw previously. Oh, fire and thunder. He like Damn. Okay. <laughs> My god. Damn blue flame with like lightning and uh, fire. Oh, uh, he's here. Um What was his name? Giriko. Wasn't it? Or am I mistaken? Oh no, that was someone else, I think. All right. Okay. This hmm. Oh boy Okay Wow the inside is all like sunny No snow nothing This is looking like some kind of like ruin. What? What? Wait. It must be some kind of like, like yeah, fake something. Is this like place like preserving the what can I say, like uh, preserving the state of thing, like preserving the past or something? Because like it is all snowy uh, outside, but here it is like sunny and everything. No snow, so I'm guessing like it is preserving the time of some previous. I don't know. Anyways, um, let's see. Okay, a lot of mice. Oh ho ho! Yeah, those mice were like uh, the witch. I'm guessing the mouse witch. Oh my god, yeah, like this is... Mifune has a lot of advantage. Because obviously like he is like close combat. Oh boy.
Oh. Ah. Uh, that was the sound of like the weapon pen piercing the skin. No. Oh no. What was that? What was that blood? <sighs> what the hell is happening here? Yeah, as I, yeah, these are like holograms or something. Awesome. And the sealed. Yeah, as I was saying, like this is like preserving the past. Oh, Arachne, yeah. That's Arachne, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. He wants blueprints. Wait a minute. That, that's a real arachne, isn't it? Or, or or not? Oh no no, this is like all confusing. I, I was confused a, a little bit. Yeah, that was not the real arachne. It is packed into it. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. Well. Okay, so I'm guessing like uh as I said before, like the whole place is being like conserved from a past time period. Like those are I'm guessing some kind of illusions or like some kind of things. Uh like hologram kind of thingies which are like uh moving around. And same with like the Shinigami, which was like uh, flying around in the sky. Like that is also, I'm guessing, some kind of like illusion. So, like, but why, like, why is the place like being conserved like that? Like, like from the past, uh, like it is like showing the past things that happened in that place. I don't know. Like, there might be some kind of reason because of that, like, uh, magnetic like tornado whatever the hell is like uh, surrounding it I'm guessing like that is somehow affecting the whole thing inside and the um, like visions of the past are being like conserved at that place I know I, I don't know like um, must be something along that line
Okay, it's end. Yes. Okay. Um. All right. So this was episode number thirty-four. Yeah. Um. Okay. So here in this episode, uh, they are like uh, raiding the facility of um. What was the name? Uh, like they're like trying to get like the brew and. Uh, the place is surrounded by a magnetic, um, I don't know, like tornado kind of thing. And uh, like because of that whole like that thing, uh, they are unable to like use any kind of like devices to uh, uh, like uh, any kind as they are saying, like that will like interfere with the um, reception of the things. So they won't be able to use any tools. So and. Uh, <laughs> Obviously, like uh, I'm guessing, the inside of the uh, like tornado is like that because because like it is something uh, like be, that is being preserved from the past. That is like uh, most probably the like things that happened before the whole place was blown off. Uh, that is like being repeated inside, like uh, the things that were happened. Like for example, like Shinigami, uh, most probably like before the whole place was blown off. Uh, Shinigami was like uh, like uh, m moving around in that place just like it was like being shown and all of the witches as like they were like, uh, like coming out of the place and like trying to get away from there as soon as they can and Arachne was also there so I guess like those were the things that happened and after that like after like it the place got blown up like blown up uh, somehow like uh, the electromagnetic um, tornado was able to like uh, conserve the things which happened just before the place was blown off and it is like being shown like repeatedly in that like it is being like conserved in that place and uh, after um, like uh, Maka's team got inside uh, they are like seeing that uh, thing now and experiencing that and those things like the witches coming out those are kind of like holograms and they cannot be touched so I'm guessing it is like somewhere along those lines something must have been happened only I guess the only thing that is uh, like real in that place are those mines like uh, from uh, uh, Elka who was like standing outside she said something about like uh, like like good luck or something I, I think she said something along those lines and i'm guessing like those were directed towards the mice and i'm guessing those mice are actually the uh, mouse um witch which we saw previously uh in uh when like kishin was uh unsealed uh, that portion there was like uh, a fight between um what was the name uh blair wasn't it yeah blair and uh, those mice i'm guessing the, the same mice witches are, the, are those things and they're like the only thing which is real in that uh, place apart from like Marka's team I don't know this is just a guess I might be completely wrong we'll probably get to understand what the actual case is in the next few episodes and uh, we also got to see a few new um, characters using their powers and weapons and uh, I was I think um, the Girl, what was her name? I think they called Jacqueline. I, I I'm not sure if like Jacqueline is the name of the uh, uh, like weapon or the master who was like wielding her. Like there are like two girls. Uh, in the previous episode, uh, one was like which we are seeing in this episode, the pink-haired girl. Um, and uh, she is uh, the master. And uh, just a sec, let me just check this portion out. Okay, uh, here it is. Like here, Ox, uh, I think says her name. Uh, let me just check her name. Kim. Okay, Kimi. Okay, what Kimi? So her name is Kimi. Okay, so I'm guessing Jacqueline is the name of the uh, like lantern thing which she is holding, which is most probably her uh, weapon weapon partner and Kimi is something like some kind of like her nickname or something I'm not sure if that is her like uh, real name but anyways 
So yeah, these are the two new characters. We probably we saw her them before, but I was not sure who was the weapon and who was the uh, Meister. But um, in this episode, is quite clear. And uh, another character is um, the guy with um, the gloves, thing, who is like wielding those gloves. I forgot his name again. <laughs> anyways um yeah uh, that that guy and uh, he is able to like wield uh, fire and lightning at the same time like uh, the name of like his gloves are like pot of fire and pot of i think thunder or something lightning i'm not sure. yeah thunder pot of thunder and pot of fire so wow th that is some what can i say like really um interesting uh like power of the weapons like you can do a lot of things like combining fire and um, lightning and can i don't know like yeah it is like uh, you can like it, it's quite powerful like fire and lightning both are like destructive powers so like uh i'm quite sure that is why like in one of the previous episodes when like they were fighting excalibur uh, they said something about like the one of the like most powerful monsters are standing here and he was included in that so I'm guessing he is pretty strong. So yeah, and <coughs> excuse me. And so here's the thing. So uh, and also like Justin is fighting with um, the chain guy. So so this is what is happening. Um, uh, first of all, like uh, Sid was going to like stop uh, the other people uh, from interfering with uh, Ma Mari and uh, Stan's real mission. Uh, Mari and Stan went inside to like uh, get that um, like thing the weapon uh, like the demonic uh, tool which is like brew and um Marcus team were called to, uh, like asked to stand outside just for i don't know like for like uh, stopping others from getting in i'm guess guessing and um, sid was uh, tasked with uh, stopping the like uh, enemy forces like the majority of the enemy forces and um oh, who else is there um is there anyone else who is oh yeah um justin justin was asked to i'm guessing stopping the chain guy and uh, mifun is now fighting with sid and uh, um, justin with uh, the chain guy and uh, these guys like uh, the new characters like ox and ox is not a new character i'm talking about the others and they are stopping uh, the others from getting inside the magnetic field, uh, magnet tornado. And Marcus team got inside to see what actually happened because obviously, like uh, Marty and Stein are taking quite a bit, like long. So obviously, they have to do something. Like they just can't like stand outside like that. So yeah. And in the enemy team, um, other than that. Uh, Elka is also uh, working. Uh, I'm guessing she's working for uh, Medusa, and I don't know what her plan is. Like we know what um, Arachne's plan is to get the like to get Brew, and I'm not quite sure what Medusa is actually planning. Uh, like uh, so, most probably something related to Stein. I'm not sure because obviously Krona is not here. So I'm guessing like. Uh, I don't know like something related to stein she has some kind of plan so we'll see uh, in the next few episodes so yes yep that was this episode um oh and uh the like the plan that justin used like using the <laughs> like loud sound the boom box to uh, make an avalanche and excuse me stop the uh, army from like going further like like uh, like the chain guy and the are like there were a lot of them a lot of like golems and a lot of foot soldiers as well so <laughs> like he like in one like what can i say in, like using one trick he all like he's uh, defeated all of the um, like majority of the people there and obviously uh, the chain guy is quite strong so he was not defeated that easily so one versus one now i'm guessing like justin is going to fight us uh, the chain guy 
It's the most Kiriko, wasn't it? Uh, so many names to remember, I forget it. Like, uh, quite a few of them. Yeah, I, I, I'm most probably his name was Giriko. Anyways, um, yeah, and uh, okay, what else? And oh, yeah, and uh, here's another thing that was like when they got inside the uh, magnetic field, um, the witches were saying something about uh, just a sec. Here it is. Like, which is the saying? Did you see it now? Like, did you see it just now? It was Shinigami. The facilities, uh, the facility is done for. Let's flee. So I'm, I'm guessing most probably that um, uh, Shinigami came to raid this place, and these like witches, uh, seeing that it was like, uh, like everything's over, and uh, Shinigami is going to probably like uh, capture them. They decided to run away. One of the person who was included with them was Arachne. And just a sec, let me just check another thing. I'm a bit, um, just a sec. Okay, uh, yeah, Avon's book. Uh, Arachne has the Avon's book at that time. Let's see what she says. I'm going to like check this portion out again. Um, we managed to lure Shinigami here. All that is left is to blow up Brew and this facility. Okay. So I'm guessing uh, the whole, uh, um, like, uh, the like the person who destroyed the whole uh, place was Arachne, and she did this to. I'm guessing, uh, just a sec. Yeah, within all of the Avon's creations, Brew is the most special. Okay, uh, everything that Avon did is packed into it. Okay. For 800 years, in order to not let Shinigami find out about the existence of Brew, the best way was to blow up the brew along with the facility so no one saw or heard about it okay okay now i understood so uh, i'm guessing like uh, we al already know that uh, arachne was like running away from shinigami uh, af before like she sealed him herself inside that uh, golem thing so uh, i'm guessing most probably like uh, she like destroyed the whole place to stop shinigami from getting hold of brew and then i'm guessing like she tried to run away from that place but was unable to do it as shinigami was almost catching up to her and she sealed herself in that golem and the avon's book was also with her and i'm guessing as like she said like the brew is one of the like uh th thing which like constitutes the most of the thing that avon did and uh so it is a pretty big deal i like i don't know if i'm not quite I can't remember if they actually like said what like this brew thing actually does. Um, I can't remember. Uh, did they actually say it or not? Anyways, most probably they'll, like they'll elaborate uh, later on about the whole thing that is like brew. So, uh, so yeah. So this brew thing is pretty, um, a pretty big deal and uh, so to not let uh, Shinigami get. A whole like get a hold of that uh, Arachne decided to blow the whole place up up and seal herself in the golem okay so yeah it is kind of clear now what actually happened and now like I'm guessing like Shinigami also did not try to um, uh, get the brew before like uh, like 800 years had already passed so I'm guessing like Shinigami did not try to get the brew back by coming here because obviously number one like he is stuck uh, in uh, Shibusen because obviously like his soul is acts as a protective field around the whole city so he cannot go there himself he would have to like uh, send someone and also another thing I think uh, another thing is the reason that is like uh, Arachne was sealed all of this time so I'm guessing like Shinigami did not uh, what can I say thought that uh, like 
yeah like there were no threat there was no threat uh so i'm guessing shinigami like left that alone for the time being and now that arachne is like back so like shinigami knew that most probably arachne is going to like go for brew again so he decided to like uh like uh mobilize his forces and uh send them here to stop arachne most probably something along that those lines and i'm not sure uh that might be the case or that might not be the case there might be some other, other reasons so yeah so uh, yeah that was this episode guys um the next episode will probably get more of uh like the whole thing with the brew and where actually um uh, stein and mari went like they like vanished inside i'm guessing like they are in somewhere inside the place so we're probably going to like uh, see where they are now what has actually happened to them and getting a little bit of like fights between these characters like justin versus the chain guy um and uh mifune versus uh, sid and i have to say like mifune vs sid is going to be a bit difficult on sid because obviously sid is a long range uh, attacker and he uses like guns and mifune is someone who is extremely strong in short range because he's like a samurai and yeah that will be difficult unless and until like um sid can gain a considerable like distance from uh mifune but still like mifune is like slashing the bullets off so it's difficult who knows most probably like sid will have to like trap him somehow otherwise like, i don't see how he's going to win because mifune is a lot stronger than him so yeah so yeah guys and uh, that was this episode this was episode number um 60 uh, what the hell am i saying 34 and uh yeah so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to share about this episode i'll be sure to check them out and so yeah i'll be back with a new soul eater episode next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day